Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings. Previously, we have discussed about gear to strength based on bending stress. So in this video, we will focus on gear to strength based on surface stress. Okay, when a pair of gears in operation, the contact between the two surfaces of the gear teeth will cause surface deterioration. Okay, possible surface deteriorations are number one is abrasive. Abrasive is caused by foreign particles. These foreign particles are due to gears that are not enclosed with casing or enclosed gears with some particles present. There are also cases that the gears that are lubricated by an oil but with inadequate filtration. This also will cause abrasive to the gear teeth. The other kind of surface deterioration is scoring. Scoring happens when inadequate lubrication when the gears are at high speed. So this will cause uh, increase in sliding friction between the gear teeth. Okay, the next of surface deterioration is pitting and spalling. Okay, pitting and spalling uh, are surface and subsurface fatigue failure caused by the complex stresses within the surface contact zone. Okay, failures like uh, abrasive and scoring could be neglected and uh, can be eliminated with proper care. Uh, in gear tooth analysis, failure of pitting and spalling are the most critical one and has to be taken into account since they involve fatigue failure in gear tooth surface durability. Okay, since uh, pitting and spalling are the most critical surface deterioration and they are all about surface stresses, the equation of the surface stress is shown here, which is equation 15.24 in your textbook. Okay, as you can see uh, in this equation, uh, the surface stress sigma h equal to Cp. Cp is the elastic coefficient times the square root of Ft over B diameter pinion dp times i uh, kv ko km okay cp is the the elastic coefficient and to get the cp you can look at table 15.4a for english unit and 15.4b for metric okay if you Look at the equation, uh, the surface stress, where surface stress is equal to Cp times all the square root value of Ft over Bd diameter pin over I kv km. So the unit of this elastic coefficient Cp is uh, square root. Uh, if uh, the unit is square root, uh, either Ks, PSI or uh, in metric square root mega pascal. So if you look uh, in this table, uh, 15.4a uh, so the 15.4a is for English units so uh, in this table the, the value that you will get from this table at uh, the unit for English unit is square root PSI okay if you look in this table uh, all the material listed uh, steel, cast iron, aluminium, uh, bronze so the first column is a material for the pinion material and the rest of the columns is material for the uh, gear material since in our case uh, in our analysis we have pair of gears the pinion material and the gear material okay let's say for example in our sample problem if the pinion material is steel and the uh, gear material is also steel so if we look in this table 50.4a if we use english unit uh, to get our cp value in square root psi so the value of the cp is 2300 there is also case uh, where the material of the opinion is steel but the material of the gear material not the pinion material is cast iron so it means for this pair of gears uh, they have different different material um, uh, steel for pinion but for gear is cast iron 
so the value of your CP is 2000 so you can uh, use uh, the pair of your uh, gear, ma gear materials uh, in this table so in this, this table uh, as I mentioned uh, is only stated for what's a uh, for steel cast iron aluminum and bronze so what if the material for the pair of our gears is not uh, stated here let's say for example we are using a different kind of steel material or different kind of iron material rather than what is stated here so to get if the material that you use is not stated in this table it's not listed in this table you can use the basic question of your uh, uh, cp uh, which is in equation 15.22 in your textbook if you look in the equation 15.22 your uh, cp the elastic coefficient um, we can use this equation where cp is equal to 0 0.564 times square root 1 over 1 minus vp square 1 minus vg square over ep and uh, over eg so in this question you what is the v what is the small uh, symbol b it's the small v is a portion ratio portion ratio is vp means portion ratio of the pinion material and uh, to get the value of the portion ratio you can uh, check in your textbook in the in the appendix of your uh, material properties for example, you have in your table properties of uh, steel, we have value of portion ratio of steel VP. And uh, in this question also, the VG means the portion ratio of the gear material. So for example, like uh, if your material of your opinion is steel, so you look on the table, what is the portion ratio value of the steel? If the material of the gear is cast iron, you check on the table properties in the appendix what is the portion, portion ratio value of the cast iron. Okay, what about EP in this question? EP and G. EP is uh, elastic, uh, sorry, the modulus of elasticity of the pinion and EG is the modulus of elasticity for the gear material. So this for, you can also check the beside portion ratio you can also check the modulus of elasticity for both pinion material and gear material in the table properties in the appendix okay okay also in this uh, question of surface stress we also have in our the um, since uh, the surface stress sigma h equal to cp uh, times square root over ft where the ft is the tangential force of the gear uh, as as we know it ft uh, over b uh, the small b is a uh, face width of the gear and dp dp uh, means the uh, diameter of the pinion gear if you focus on the tooth of the pinion to we want to calculate the surface stress of the tooth of the pinion so we will use dp is the pinion diameter let's say if you want to calculate the surface stress for the gear not the pinion the bigger gear the gear so it will be dg okay in this case dp is a pinion diameter the pinion diameter how do we get the pinion diameter pinion diameter since we know let's say in our case we know that uh, the number of teeth of the pinion let's say the number of teeth of the pinion is 18 and we know that the diametrical pitch diametrical pitch uh, capital P uh, is 10 since uh, for English unit diametrical pitch is N the number of teeth of the pinion over the diameter of the pinion diametrical pitch is N over D so to get the, the diametrical uh, the diameter diameter pitch so equal to N over our diametrical pitch is N over P so for example let's say the pinion number of teeth is 18 the diametrical pitch is 10 so the diameter of our pinion is 1.8 inch so that's how we got the diameter of the gear and also in this question the the in the the don't the, in the denominator at the bottom is we have capital capital i here so what is capital i i the capital i is, is a dimensionless uh, unit is a dimensionless unit is a constant so to get that i 
i you can get the value of i in equation 15.23 in your textbook where i equal to sine phi times cos phi over 2 times r over r plus 1 so we have phi here for is phi phi is the pressure angle of your gear so we have either pressure angle or 20 of 20 degree or 25 degree also in the equation to get i we have a big uh, capital letter r here why is r i is the ratio okay by the way i what is called i is called geometry factor okay to get uh, i is geometry factor to get i uh, we must also know the capital letter r so what is r I's r is the ratio of your gear diameter over pinion diameter so r is uh, dg over dp so we can get both since we know uh, diameter equal to n over diametrical pitch so we can get uh, we uh, we can get our diameter of both gear and pin so if we know uh, the ratio of these two diameter dg over dp is the value r so by substituting this value of r into this equation 50.23 for our geometry factor i so we can get the value of our i since we get the value of this i we can substitute uh, the equation i into the equation of our surface stress 15.24 here so i so we have ft over b dp i and also we have last we have kv kokm so as mentioned in the previous video to calculate the bending stress you have kv kokm where kv is your volo the dynamic factor or velocity factor ko is the uh, what we call the overload factor and km is a mounting factor so since you know all these values so, so you can get the value of your surface stress uh, sigma h Okay, since we know how to calculate the surface stress sigma h, so the next move is to calculate the surface fatigue strength. Since we need to get the safety factor of the gear tooth, uh, since safety factor is the surface fatigue strength over the sigma h. So to get the surface fatigue strength, the equation can be shown in equation 15.25 in your textbook as shown here. The surface fatigue strength is SH equal to SFE times CLI and CR. Okay, um, SFE is the surface fatigue strength uh, based on 10 to the power of 7 cycle and also based on 99% reliability. Uh, as shown in uh, table 15.5 in your textbook. So, if you look in this table, uh, it's listed uh, all the material uh, which are steel, uh, iron, cast iron, tin, and aluminium. So, the second column is a uh, value of the our SFE uh, in KSI, and the last column is a uh, value of our SFE in megapascal. So, this SFE is a surface fatigue strength for. 10 to the power 7 second for 99 percent reliability so for example like if our material of our pinion gear is uh, steel uh, so the value of the sfe in ksi is 0 0.4 times to our brinal hardness minus 10 so the unit in in ksi so in other case that if uh, we use a metric uh, the value of our SFE is 28 times the original hardness minus 69 and the unit in megapascal. So, so relatively you can use for iron a uh, different equation and but except for the other materials like cast iron, tin and aluminium, uh, they have the constant value here for 55 for in KSI and uh, 379 for uh, metric unit. Okay, so this is a value of our SFE we can get from this table either using equation for steel or for cast iron we just direct take the value. Okay, the next one is a CLI. CLI, CLI is a life factor. To get the CLI, we need to see figure 15.27 in your textbook. Uh, if you look in this figure 15.27, so we have uh, in the X axis is our surface fatigue life cycle from 10 to the power of 4 to 10 to the power of 11 and the y axis is the value of our CLI 
Okay, normally we since we design for infinite life, uh, infinite life means the, our cycles of life is at least 10 to the power of 6. So, uh, normally uh, if it is not stated in your sample problem, we will take 10 to the power of 6 of our life since we design for uh, the margin for infinite life is 10 to the power of 6. If the life surface fatty life is 10 to the power of 6 if we look in this figure we the value of our cli is uh, approximately uh, 1.1 so this is how we uh, get our cli from this figure 15.27 okay um the next one is your cr uh, cr is a reliability factor to get the value of cr you refer to table 15.6 in your textbook if you look in this table 15.6 we only have a uh, three value here for reliability 50 percent 99 percent and 99.9 percent okay um normally if if stated that the the design of the system uh, gear the pair of gear the reliability is stated that for 99 percent reliability so you will use the value of cr is one so uh, this is how we uh, get our CR value. Okay, uh, since we know how to get the value of CR and uh, CLI and also SFE, so we can calculate the surface fatigue strength, uh, SH. Okay, SH is SFE times CLI times CR. Okay, since we know the value of our surface fatigue strength, so then we can calculate the safety factor of our gear tools. Uh, since safety factor of the gear tooth based on surface stress is equal to the strength of the gear tooth surface fatigue strength of the gear tooth SH over the surface stress of the gear tooth sigma H so we then from uh, this equation to get the safety factor okay alhamdulillah I hope you guys understand what I have explained to you about this uh, gear to strength based on surface stress and how to calculate the safety factor um, so stay home stay safe and uh, selamat maju jaya and thanks for watching this video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi